Right, so, um, welcome back to another installment of the Winter Guides. Um, this is the first out of many to come. Uh, this is going to be class guides, starting off today with the Thief class. Now, Thief class, now as you can see we're still a novice. Um, we're at where you changed your job. 10-12, there's some basic stats. Anyways, let's just jump into it. So we talk to one of these guys here, right? Need to be a thief. Yes. So, yeah. Right. Hmm. I must have misclicked. Ah, right. Okay, so. There. Now we're a thief. Now, to explain a little bit about the thief class. Now these turn into a an assassin or a rogue. But later on into other guides with that. So let's just go through your stats and your gear, what you would need. Now as a thief, your main weapon of choice is a dagger. Uh, you can opt to use a shield with the dagger, but if you do, you lose attack speed. And it's really, there's no point. I mean, the damage you're going to be taking is fairly negligible anyway. Now as a thief, I would recommend you have three main stats, which is strength, agility, and dexterity. Now you can have a little bit of vitality if you want to, like five maybe or so for the start. Um, so what do the, all of these do for you? Well, um, strength obviously increases your damage, agility increases your dodge and your attack speed, and dexterity makes you miss less. Um, let's see, let's just go through all of these as well. Ha accuracy is hit critical. You gain one critical rating for three luck. Okay, so if you put this to three, let's see we gain two. And you also get one hit and one attack. Every three luck basically grants you one attack, one magic attack, one hit, and one luck, one crit. Whereas strength will grant you more per point, but only physical attack. Um, defense, hard defense, soft defense. Basically, when you click VIT, you see, we gain the soft defense here. That basically means for every vitality you gain one soft defense, supposedly. No, my apologies, for every two at vitality. Right, um, magic defense, regular defense, flee is your dodge rating. The left one is your soft, def uh, soft flee, which is basically when you reach a certain number, like say 225, you might be able to dodge certain mobs by 95%. The right one is a bit more interesting, it's called perfect dodge. Now, 1% perfect dodge is 1% chance to not take any physical damage at all. Now you might think, but if I get 5 perfect dodge and I dodge to 95% of the other one, I would have 100, and no, that's not how it works. You can reach 100 perfect dodge though, but that's very, very end game stuff. Um, you need a lot of gear and a lot of enchants, and but it is possible, but that would basically only be used for mobbers, not for leveling. Attack speed, this is your attack speed, I believe it's hits per... Well, there's a correlation between the attack delay and hits per second. Um, I basically know if you have 193, I think it's 7 hits per second and so forth. Right, so that's when you level, you gain status points that you can spend. Um, in terms of build here, I would suggest going maybe like 10, 15 vitality, maybe 30, 40 dexterity, the same in strength, and then just maxing out agility up to 90. You shouldn't go above 90 for now. But like 90 agility, 40 50 strength, 40 50 dex maybe, and like 10 15 vitality. And you can get like. Luck should only be put in threes, obviously, so 3, 6, 9, 12, and so forth. Never leave it at an uneven number, because the system will round your stats down. Right, so that, those are the stats. Gear wise, like I said, daggers. Uh, the main reason for using daggers, now this is your skill tree. Okay? Now, this is from the start, we don't do much with that. Double attack. Um, now, this really depends, because double attack might seem like a great bit of thing to use, and you should, unless you're planning on making a double dagger G GX. But if you do that, so double dagger crit, then you can actually still achieve that. I'm going to talk a bit about that later, but basically by going through them one at a time. Double attack, 50% chance at level 10. To cause your damage to be doubled when you auto attack. Steal, 
You cannot steal cards, I cannot stress this enough. People might think so, but you can't. But you could, if you're farming a certain item, say Immortal Hearts, you can steal one and then kill them and drop an additional one. So that's pretty cool. And Venom, um, this is used if you're gonna be an assassin, not a rogue. You don't really need this if you're going to be a rogue as far as I understand it. All of these are, you will get them for free when you are reborn at level 99. Uh, detoxify, same thing with and Venom. I mean, you can get it if you want to, but hiding, you should definitely put this high. Now, it's just what it said. You can't move while hidden unless you're a rogue. Assassins will get something called cloaking. We'll, we'll talk about that later anyway. Uh, Improve dodge. Now, this one is mandatory. Like, this makes life just 20 million times easier for you. Because... Well, it increases your flea to keep up with the mobs you're facing. So, um, right. About if you wanted to be a double dagger crit, then you should never go above 42 job. Okay, because the reason is when you have double attack, it will override criticals. So you want to be able to like move the 10 points from here into like something else. So 10, 20, 30, 41 points, which means you're level 42. Because then you can still go 10, 20, 30, 40, and then if you want to respec, you can just move these over to Venom and free this up for double dagger crit. Um, in terms of leveling, as always, Eden Group is your friend. Uh, there are a couple of items that I highly suggest getting. I mean, there are iShop items, but you can get them from other players. Now, gear wise, there aren't really too many things that are great here. But the Picker Picker Hairband is one of my favorites. It makes you run a lot faster and it does increase your um, damage. Uh, sorry, not damage. Attack speed by bits. And the second item, unless you're planning on using bubble gums for EXP, this one. All stats plus 2 and 20 extra flea. That coupled with improved dodge is massive. It might not sound high, but it, but it is pretty good. Uh, otherwise, a ride word is great to invest in as well later on for AoEing. It will have a chance to steal health and SP for you when you attack. So when you're mobbing, it's it's just great. Okay, so um, well, uh, there's some shadow gear, but that doesn't matter too much. So what you should be looking for on gear, really, as a thief, um, agility, strength, some dexterity, I suppose. But yeah, uh, I think that concludes the thief guide. So, um, if you like this, let us know. Um, we always appreciate your support, of course. And, um, okay, and I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching.